Hello guys, how's it going? Splicer here. Now I've just put together a few tips on how to improve your aim, which will ultimately improve your chances of winning Battle Royale in Fortnite. It's probably one of the most frustrating parts of the game, where you'll open up on an enemy, they'll turn around and simply just get a headshot and take you out, or you'll open fire on them and you just simply can't hit a shot. So I've just put together a few things on how to make sure you land a few more hits uh, on the enemy to then obviously take them out and then eventually win the game, hopefully. So first things first, now there have been two major updates regarding accuracy since the launch of this game. So the first one is to do with the levels of accuracy changes for which weapon classes you have, uh, and the other one is sensitivity for scoped weapons and that sort of thing, which is extremely important, especially because before this update, um, trying to use a sniper, your, your scope would just fly all over the map, especially with consoles. So yeah, the first thing you need to do is jump into those game settings, which is in the top right hand corner, and just amend the scope sensitivity that you have. It will probably be set, it will be preset now um, to 0.25, which is extremely slow. It's even slower than what a player can run at. So if you're trying to aim on a player, they can literally out sprint your scope if it's left at this sensitivity. So just jump in there. I have mine at 0.45, uh, which is a little bit quicker but I find that it plays better for me. So have a play around with it. You can do it mid-game, doesn't really matter. And just see what sort of sensitivity you want for a scoped weapons, because it will really, really assist, obviously, with those long-range shots uh, and with the sniper rifles that you get. The next one, and this probably comes sounds quite self-explanatory, but it is a double-edged sword way of playing the game. So you are going to get the best accuracy with your weapon if you are crouched and you are not moving. It's one of those things where, obviously, you're trying to avoid standing still so the enemy can't shoot you, but then by doing so, you're making your shots fly all over the place uh, and the, the weapon spread be you know, much larger than what it would be if you were stood still. So, for those mid-range shots, or especially long-range, depending on what the enemy are going to do, if they don't know you're there, get crouched, stop moving, and then take those shots and it will improve the accuracy of that weapon massively, especially if you have a lower class weapon. So if you have a common weapon, um, you're still going to get very accurate shots if you're stood still and, and um, crouching. Obviously, if the enemy see you and they're fairly close, you're going to want to move, jump about, crouch, do everything you can um, to avoid them shooting you. But at closer ranges, obviously, accuracy is going to have less of an effect. And then you just want to be aiming for the head and just taking them out and hopefully getting them down before they get you down. So I keep banging on about weapon classes, again it probably sounds quite obvious, but the higher class weapon that you have, so like common, rare, legendary, that sort of thing, the higher class you have, the better the spread of the accuracy will be for that weapon. So I know it almost goes without saying, but if you have a legendary um, sort of scar compared to a rare one, the accuracy is going to be better on that legendary scar. So there'll be less emphasis on having to crouch stand still and look down the sights and that sort of thing and that's another thing to add to it so if you look down the sights it will obviously again quite obvious but it will increase the uh, accuracy on that weapon so the easiest way to sort of understand how your weapon spread is going to go is if you look at the crosshairs on your player obviously when you're crouching the crosshairs get smaller if you stand still the, the crosshairs slowly get smaller and the same for when you're crouching if you're moving they get larger it's as simple as that but you need to balance that with what weapon you're using, what class of weapon that is, and then how your play style is going to be for that specific engagement that you're going to have. So if you're going to engage an enemy at medium range and they don't know you're there, definitely crouch, definitely take your time and take that shot. If they're close by, like I said before, jump, aim for a headshot, use shotguns at close range obviously, SMGs, pistols, that sort of stuff. Rifles for mid, mid range and then sniper rifles for long range. But yeah, give it a try. The biggest thing overall is just practice on those weapon systems. So get a feel for how they how they use. If you have a basic understanding for that weapon, then the individual classes, so common, uh, uncommon, rare, legendary, that sort of thing, um, it will still play the same. However, your accuracy will just naturally be closer together, and you'll be able to use the weapon um, just from, like I say, from the shoulder whilst running, jumping, and that sort of stuff. Especially if you have legendary ones. But tell me what you guys think. What have you found to be most accurate? Um, how are you finding the game? If you guys have got any sort of footage of best kills or that sort of thing that you want to send to me, 
I'll put together a top five best kills or top ten, depending on how many we get. Just send it through to my Facebook page or send me a link through Twitter. Facebook's probably the best way. Um, and then I'll see if I can get together a top five and see if you guys get put in there. And yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you like it, like the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.